episode 25. Uh, halfway through the season, Josh, and uh, I think we're just going to have a few beers and talk about our next game, uh, Mega Man X2. Great game. Uh, Love it. Okay, so uh, let's uh, run down a little bit of the the back of the box now. I think we were both excited. Uh, I guess let's let's just preface this to saying the last Mega Man I played was probably like Mega Man Four. So I mean I've been out of the Mega Man game for a minute, you know. So but X Two I know it's a it's a big game and uh, you know I couldn't tell you that there was like I guess like what eight X games or whatever there are. But I know everybody loves Mega Man X. So I was like okay I'm pretty excited especially with the games we played this year. Uh, so, you know, to me, this is a new experience, uh, just like, uh, maybe some, uh, I've lived under a rock. What can I say? <laughs> so when I flip over the back of the box, this is what greets me. Mega Man X2. X returns for twice as much intensity. I feel like when I read that, I think of a DMX. Like, yeah, I feel yeah. like X going to give it to you. Yeah. You, know? you can get some rough riders. Just when Mega Man X thought he had brought down all the X Hunters several months later, an uprising moves from within an abandoned factory. While eight all-new X Hunters occupy Mega Man X, a triple threat plots to resurrect a separate weapon that is all too familiar. The good Dr. Light supplies Mega Man X with incredible new abilities, hidden in capsules buried deep below the surface, and with new vehicles like the mobile attack cycle plus powers he gains from X hunters Mega Man X will be ready to face his destiny as a maverick hunter now it's all or zero for Mega Man it, and then it goes down to the bullet points it has enhanced realism with 3D effects and a new Capcom C4 graphics chip uh, search for hidden capsules and added powers to complement the weapons acquired from each of the 8 uh, wild X hunters additional 13 X hunter battles after destroying the original 8 X hunters for one player. Yeah. Which is kind of odd that that is on the, like, there ain't a whole lot of games that are going to brag about being one player, but it didn't just have a little thing that said one player. It says, for one player. Yeah. So I guess it's, uh, you hide your women and your children, tell them to, to <laughs> go to the movies, do whatever. You know, there's only going to be one Mega Man. We're about to be slugging this out. Okay, so, uh, I mean, you're the Mega Man connoisseur, so I will default to, <laughs> like, so you know all the lore, you know the story, the whole nine. So, I mean, does that sound like, is that Mega Man X2 in a, a nutshell? Yeah, yeah, overall it is. And if you are a Mega Man fan like I am and all that, you would give a little tip of the hat to the very last sentence. Now it's all and or zero for Mega Man. Now it's all or zero. Okay, okay, fair Because enough. that is the hidden guy that they're trying to resurrect. But see, it's been so long. That I only know because everybody that bitches because I've not ever played the Mega Man X series. Uh, you don't know who Zero is. Do I you? didn't know who Zero is. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we're okay. gonna, we're gonna drop this in and uh, you know ninety four Capcom game uh, right in the heyday. To me, it's the Peak. the, the Peak. Yeah, now I know they made you know Super Nintendo games. I, I'm sure I catch hell over it. You know I know they made it up until like ninety eight or ninety nine. But ninety four to me was kind of the end of the cycle. Like that's when I kind of got out of gaming for a while, which is why I miss like some of these big titles like uh, uh, Mega Man and you know to be honest, probably like some of the Resident Evils. I just never got into them. Was some big, of the DK. Yeah, there is a. Like uh, I got into some Donkey Kongs, but. It was just, there was a big gap for like eight years, I guess, when, uh, you know, all a, a young man could think about was boobs and beer and whatever, you know, yeah, whatever yeah. happens, you know. So, uh, you know, this was developed and published by Capcom, and uh, I'm going to butcher the, the Japanese names here. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Takuro Fujiwara, he uh, directed it. Uh, just, you know, kind of give a... Uh, uh, Tip the hat, you know. I mean, guys. I don't. I don't know if he was just successful or he's successful after this game or before. I mean, I think it's pretty much his whole career. It's one of those guys. Everything he touches is gold. So, uh, you know, just to talk about some of the games that he was in. I don't want to get into who, if he direct us, published, uh, consulted. To me, if you're part of the game, you're part of the game. You know. Yeah. Uh, so he did. Uh, just to put this in perspective, some of the toughest games maybe yeah. ever. Ghost and Goblins in yep. 85. Goals and Ghosts in 88. Uh, I think he came on in Mega Man 2. I could be wrong on that, but then he's been pretty much 
in some sort of about every Mega Man game since. I just didn't feel like writing 76 different Mega Man titles down, so there may be a missing one, but uh, you get the point. To me, he's just as much as Mr. Mega Man as anything else. Yeah. Uh, he did uh, DuckTales, uh, Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers, Street Fighter 2010, uh, The Final Fight, you know, Super Girls and Ghosts, Final Fight 2, Mighty Final Fight, that's an expensive game, Breath of Fire, that's decently, it ain't too expensive, but uh, he did some other Breath of Fire games, and he did Toomba and Toomba 2. Uh, it was designed by Kiji Inafune, uh, Sho Suge, and Yoshida Tsuda. And, uh, just to put this in perspective, uh, I did do it, you know, cause, you know, one thing Capcom can normally hang their hat on is how awesome the music is in most cases. I mean, they've had a few stinkers, but, uh, Yuki Awa, I-W-A-I, -I, he's the guy who composed the music for this. Uh, just to kind of put this into perspective, Josh, and when I say, you know, what games do you think uh, uh, has some good music? Uh, you know, Street Fighter Alpha 3, he did the Final Fight, Demon's Crest, Spawn, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. So, I mean, he's throwing some, he's, some fire out yeah, there. Yeah, he's throwing so. some really good So, bars. I mean, when you look at it, uh, I don't know that you would say there's really a weak spot in the development or production or composing. I mean, it's kind of like you got the who's who you got the all-stars you brought in, whether they, this helped make them the heavy hitters or they already were. I mean, you got some of the best in the business. I mean, I feel like this is uh Capcom's Mount Rushmore. This is their this hall is, of fame. I think this is definitely a hall of famer. I would, I would list it as a Capcom Mount Rushmore top four easy. Yeah, so I mean, you just, I mean, anyone, especially for Nintendo, Nintendo, one hundred percent. I think any one of these guys uh, that was working on this uh, could have probably made this a great game by themselves, just putting them all together. Uh, so you know, that's just kind of an added bonus uh, to go into kind of a plot. And I'm, I'm pretty ignorant to this, Josh. So you jump in here. I'm going to read. I've just got just a, a brief synopsis. Uh, this takes place in the future. Uh, according to the startup, it's six months after Zero got killed. Yep. And uh, it says, after Zero dies, uh, when the world is populated by both humans and mechanical beings, these le replicant androids, uh, 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 some of them you know, lean toward being villains, which they call Mavericks. And then uh, Dr. Kane created Reploids with free will and intelligence. That's why some of them are villains. Uh, Mavericks, and then the other ones, I guess, are Maverick Hunters, yeah. X-Hunters, whatever you want to call them, you know, to, to keep the peace. So, uh, to be kind of honest, kind of, that, that's pretty much what I've got for the plot of this game. Kind of a weak Fresh. plot, <laughs> but just like anything else, I don't know that it's a Mega Man game. So, I don't know that I can remember any of the first four Mega Man games that I played really having a plot other than go beat the bad guy. No, the first four are literally just a walk and shoot. There wasn't much detail to them. Well, and, and it's like this. It's like, I think this is kind of a, a weak story for it, but I don't know the whole Zero Saga. I don't know in the if Mega Man even really has much of a story throughout the years other than just the gameplay speaks for itself. That's one thing I'm kind of lost on. Uh, there is a little bit of a story. Because, I mean, I feel like you, and I may be wrong, but I feel like, you know, your Mega Man one through... I, once you hit X, I feel like you hit your own series. And then, you know, you get to all these other different Mega Mans. I feel like... I do know that there's supposed to be like four Mega Man timelines. And I feel like the X series... And I don't know this, but I feel like it probably has its own timeline. It its does. Its own thing. And I don't know anything about it, it to be quite It honest. does. And just to throw a little, little something out there later on, too. Is Zero originally was a bad guy. Okay. He was he, he was created by, if I'm not mistaken, created by Dr. Light. But the ultimate bad guy, which is, I think, in the original, I think was named Dr. Wally. It was Dr. Wally. That's who I remember. Yeah. That's the only villain I know. Dr. Wally, I think he managed to reprogram Zero. Okay. And turned him evil. And so in, X, in Mega Man X series, X, the first X is you fighting him saving him and then so on and so forth and then from X2 they're trying to rebuild him X3 he's a playable character so I mean you do get to play as Zero eventually okay now uh, lore wise is Dr. Wily 
is an asshole. Right. From what I understand, is he dead in this game? I believe so. Okay. Because I think I, it, uh, he's, I've got a fun fact that may involve he, this. He's, I, he may be dead, or he may be Sigma. Like his uh, his subconscious was uploaded into Sigma. So one thing that coming from me coming into this game, you know, uh, on the old X Men or X Men Mega Man, uh, I remember you play. I don't know, it's six or eight uh, bosses, very similar to this. You go through the stage, you play them, and, and it's the same in this game. Uh, and then, you know, basically at the end, Dr. Wily, you went through this massive stage that was kind of broke up into four different parts. And that was really, once you figured the order of defeating your enemies, you know, then you would have to go through this castle of Dr. Dr. Wily's, which was just like slit your wrist hard as hell yep. to get through. And then you basically, you fought... Uh, Doctor Wally, and he was always in like some Mac or yeah, something. Yeah, he's like always that. he's always in a Mac. So there is uh, that part. Now uh, I didn't beat this game, but I do know that this game has the parallels. There's eight bosses. Of course, each boss uh, has a weakness, has a strength. Uh, so there's an order that you can play the bosses to which uh, uh, makes the game optimum, I guess. Uh, I don't know at the end if you go through one of these super levels to get to the boss because I didn't make it that far into this game. But uh, I would be probably upset if not because, I mean, you know, there's one thing I think most of the Mega Man games uh, hang their hat on is they're tough as shit. Yep. And so that instead of it just being tough as shit, let's make a goddamn near impossible level at the end that you got to play before you fight another big bad motherfucker, you know. Like, that was Mega Man in a <laughs> nutshell to me. And I will throw a disclaimer out there, Josh. I think you agree. I don't know if it's like, you know, the Christmas spirit disappears as you get older or whatever. I was really good at Mega Man games as a young man. I am not good. I feel like the older you get, you lose a step in Mega Man. And I don't know if this is like an actual syndrome, if this is a fact, but uh, I, I'm just going to go out there and tell you, like, I could probably have made a perfect drive. I played Mega Man 2. I, I, that was one of the first Nintendo games I got. My aunt and uncle got this for me for... Uh, Christmas. I love Mega Man 2. I didn't have any other games other like Mario, but I was so enthralled with it. I just played it over and over and over. I mean, I was beating it like every couple of days. Back in the day, I probably perfect ran Mega Man 2 without even taking a hit. Like, I was that good at it. I went back thinking, Psh, I gotta kick this shit. Oh no, it, it's it bad. You. I can't even get to the boss, like yeah. much less beat the damn boss in these stages. But anyways, I digress. That's another conversation well, for another. Uh, well, we've already had that disclaimer because I said the same thing. At the moment we got a Mega Man game, I know I'm because I know I beat this game as a child. Mm-hmm. Fun fact: I did beat this game again. Okay, but it took all week. Okay, for me to beat this, I beat it last night. Okay, well, I was, and I was determined. I like I'm going into this podcast with a victory. Okay, okay, fair enough. So, uh, I mean, and another thing, I'm just gonna kind of throw out there, uh, and I might be wrong, but uh, you know, I mean, Mega Man, I think is pretty freaking important to the Nintendo period. I mean, it's probably massive for Capcom itself, but I don't know. I don't think you can name. To be honest, I don't know that you can name three video game franchises for Nintendo without mentioning Mega Man, five at the least. You're going to say Mario, Zelda. I feel like Mega Man's right there next. Uh, uh, and then I don't, you might go with, I mean, some Star of the later. Fox. Yeah, and you know, there's some later stuff on there, but like, I feel like Mega Man's number three. Like, see, as far as iconic characters yeah. of Nintendo. See, and here's the thing, is I think the top five are this. I think it's Mario, Link, Mega Man, Star Fox, and then Me- and then Samus, Metroid. Yeah, Samus is definitely in there. Uh, I would probably argue the uh, uh, Star Fox. I don't know what I would put there, to be honest. The uh, only other one I think you could fight for that would be F-Zero. Maybe, or Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong, that's the one I would go with right there. I'm just you go that see... And I just, uh, to be honest, I think Star Fox would probably be there, but I think Donkey Kong just because of the arcade cabinet. Because, uh, you know, I guess that is technically what was like one of Mario's first appearances. Yeah, Jumpman. Yeah, I don't want to get into that too much. But, but yeah, I mean, I don't think you have a conversation. You don't go far down the list without mentioning Mega Man. So I don't want to 
skip over the importance that it is just for it's a, Nintendo it's, and Capcom. It's a know. huge it's a huge stone in Nintendo's path that this is one of the greatest. And I think maybe Mega Man it, they were not it wasn't one of the black box games like the classic ones, but I mean it was an early game and uh I, I remember falling in love with it. I remember playing Mega Man 2, and Mega Man 1 was way harder. My buddy had Mega Man yeah. 1, and I go spin the knot. And we could beat Mega Man 1, but it was like Mega Man 1 was so much tougher than 2. But, you know, of course, 2 is near impossible for me to beat right now anyway, <laughs> as well. But uh, And, and th- this this is all, and, uh, I mean... I, I could roll right into this is one of the things that makes this well, game bring for us me. In. We're ready. We you ready? bring it into the make it, brother. Okay, Come in. You, what's on your heart? What brings it in is this was the beginning of my love of get good video games. Okay. I, I like, do have a reference of get good in here. but uh, Like a hundred percent, this was my eye opener of like, holy shit, I love difficult and challenging video games. That you have to get good at. Because you know what you get at that point? You get a feeling of accomplishment. You get a feeling of being superior. Well, I'm going to put in here too. I agree. And we'll come. I want to put these as bullet points where we talk about both. So the graphics are great. The music is banging. Music? And and I'm just going to say you are correct. Because uh, I think in my... like Okay, so like Untouchables. God off. Like I get some of the early Amiga games, and uh, and in in my heart, if you ask me, what the number one game maybe of all time for me is Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. I don't really play through it every couple of years. So, who knows? Who knows when we play through all these games? If I, you know, there's a lot of games that I had higher hopes of uh, that I have more uh, nostalgia for that aren't as good, and then I played some games I thought suck that are better. So I don't know how that's going to fall out. But I feel like if you said, what is the Super Nintendo capable of? You point them to Mega Man X2 and you're like, this is what it can do. Which is pretty amazing when you look at some of the shitty graphic games. We've had some horribly graphic games in here. And then you put this out there. So let's just talk about the the graphics first. Uh, This is going to actually... this. My whole make it list is kind of entwined to each other. But just in the uh, the designs, uh, you know, Mega Man, what is that I have right here? Uh, so it's like you have Mega Man that looks the same and revamped at the same time. So he looks like your iconic Mega Man. Yep. He's, look, he's, of course, been upgraded. He looks a little bit better. Looks he's, a little buffer, yeah, a little he, spit shine. But you know what? You don't even notice it because you're like... That's freaking Mega Man. Yeah. But, you know, when you look at several of the Mario games, you look at Link and the Zelda games, you can say the same there, too. But even when you want to change what Mega Man looks like, it's because you're finding the pieces of the armor and all the that. The Falcon armor. And he still looks badass as hell in it. Yep. So it's like, hey, at the end of the day, you've kind of souped him up. You made him look cooler than regular old. Go look at Mega Man 1. He looks a lot different. But if you look at that, there is no doubt. You're like, that's Mega Man, period. And they Blue did guy it. with a blaster. But it just, everything looks so damn good with it. And uh, uh, to go in the graphics, too, I mean, you know, there's a lot of colors. The visuals, the backgrounds of every level, whether you like the level or you don't. The backgrounds were still phenomenal. And, like, and it's not just like you just throw a generic background. Like, no, it changed. I like the backgrounds like when in uh, Fatal Fury 2 when you're fighting and, and you see the stuff in the background. And, and Fifle Goes West, you see the stuff rotating in the yes. back. But like every background was designed for each stage. And it wasn't like, hey, let's just throw a train run in the background. No. There's a lot going There's on. There's detail. There. And and it's kinda like one of those things where you tip the hat because Super Putty had a lot going on and it kinda seemed clouded. There is a ton going on at any point. You got moving backgrounds, you got enemies coming out of nowhere, and everything is done perfectly. Like it is I'll I will say I'll beat these other games up saying putting less in there gives you more. This puts more in there and it gives you more, which is that fine line of... They knew how to do it. I mean, it, it is... I'm not going to say perfect, but it's pretty damn close. Agreed. I mean, it, th- this might be one... I mean, And I've not played a lot of the games, but right now this might be one of the most graphically appealing games that we've played. Graphically pleasing. Yes. It was amazing. And so then we're just going to talk about the uh, the music... 
It's Capcom music at its best, you know. Cap, 100%. This music was fire. It was, like, every stage was a unique soundtrack. Every stage. And it was, I guess, it was thought through. So, like, when you're in a fire world, it sounds like fire world music. What does that sound like? I couldn't tell you. But But they they made it. They knew. They made it. Whenever you're in the underwater world, guess what? It sounds underwater-ish. I mean, just think of this. (laughs) Before, it sounded foresty. Some of the games, uh, now I'm going to take the final fights and even Crest and the Spawn, but like Yuki that the, did the composing for this, did Street Fighter 3 Alpha X-Men versus Street Fighter. I feel like you could probably took Street Fighter music and put it in here and it would have been great. And you probably take this music and put it in Street Fighter and, and it's nice. probably great. Yeah. And that that's also the thing about it is the mu- like the thing that sold me about this music was you didn't want to turn it off. It didn't get that repetitive to where it irritated you. Or at least it didn't to me. I could listen to that going through each stage. I was fine with the background music. I was 100% fine with I it. I feel like, what once again, you're running that, that fine line. The, the music was great. It fit every stage. There are several stages. I couldn't tell you what the music even sounded like because it was just so natural. But if you ever just wanted to pause it or you know you got a text and you're sitting there and you're actually listening to it, it was great. And you know what? Even though it is completely different than Mega Man 1, it still felt like Mega Man music. I feel like I could have took this music maybe and played it out of context and said, I'll give you two or three guesses of what game this came out of. And I feel like within three guesses, you would have said, hey, this is a Mega Man game. Yeah, this is a Mega Man game. You might not get that actual Yeah, you game, might, you might you argue get, between you get the, the franchise. Axes. Yes, yes. You get the franchise. And, and I'm just going to, on Super Nintendo, did we, it was just Mega Man X and up from Super Nintendo, right? Or did they, uh, that's one thing I don't know. Uh, but, I'm not for sure. I, I think we may have caught the last end of Mega Man on the Super Nintendo. Okay, okay. Uh, another thing that I did like was, you know, to go back into the design of the stages is, you know, the stages were pretty pretty well laid out. You had plenty of secret areas. Uh, there was... Uh, yeah, it was Mega Man 7 and up. 7 and up was on the So what we caught the very end of the Mega Man before it came X. Okay. So... Uh, one thing I did think was cool, and they, I don't think they've ever really fell apart from it in any of the series that I've played, but once again, I've not played as much, is they pretty much make it, they like it says on the back of the box, you know, you got these reptoids or whatever they are. <laughs> Uh, rep, reploids, not reptoids. That's, that's probably damn lizard man. That's probably more of the damn battle toads. But uh, uh, you got the reploids. You got these mechs. Everything is very, I guess you would call it industrial, mechanical. And every enemy, every stage, everything you touch has a mechanical feel to it. Like I feel like, even though they say there's humans and these replicants, uh, to me, I, other than seeing the damn. Dr. Wally back in the day and Dr. Light. I don't really see too many people that ain't freaking uh, some type of some kind of mech of yeah. some sort. But when you shoot one of these guys, you know, like their face falls off or a wheel falls their off. Their arm. Or like that fish in uh, the bubble crab level. Like part of it will fall yeah. off. And so that's one thing I think is cool. And I think it's been like that through all the games is you're like, hey, you're kind of playing as a robocop kind of mechanical dude yeah you're a human variant and i think even in the early games when you shot them you see like nuts and bolts squirt out of these dudes yeah. but uh, uh i do like that they have kept that metal and robotic aspect all the way through it uh i love how they done it and they didn't go overboard with it you know like there's so many people that can just go overboard with that stuff like tom slip yeah <laughs> And I think there was probably that was reptoids right there. Yeah, that was rep or yeah, that was some form of reptile human. But yeah, like the, they didn't go overboard with it. Like, uh, oh god, what was that? I can't think of that game right now. But uh, like, whenever you do the cross human variants with a mech or something like that, they turn more. They don't retain their human features. All right. They take more of a mech feature to them, right. and I think Mega Man does it so well that they were they had the right idea because you're not a mech turning human; you're a human with mech parts. Well, I feel like it, the whole game is just I, I'm going to use it a hundred times, but compliment. So the hero is a guy that you can relate to. You don't feel like, hey, this is a 
a mechanical being that I can't look up to or I can't be. He's but a at the same a time, suit. what it looks like something that's unattainable. The freaking the bosses in these, the guys that you're fighting, they don't have human that, aspects. To yeah, it. they look like, hey, this is Mega Man. This is what happens when it's done right. This is what looks like when it's done wrong. Yeah. Perhaps so. Uh, I do. I will say that uh, you know to go in there, the compliment between the stages and the bosses. Uh, there's there was stages in this game that I absolutely I couldn't stand it. Like I mean, they were visually appealing and all that, but I didn't have fun playing them because I was getting the shit kicked out of me. Non-stop. Volcano level, volcano level. <laughs> that son of a bitch, that damn lava <laughs> squirting up. That I was so I was so pissed off about that. I knew you would. I, okay, if I had to guess, you're if I had to guess the top three stages out of eight that you hated. Lava level, number one. Yeah, you're probably right. Number two, Junkyard with Morph Moth. I think I hated that one. When, so we played, uh, when we drew it, we played a few minutes of it over here at my house. I don't think I liked the one. I th- was it Morph Moth? It's the one that had the big crystals that slide down. The ones that killed me. No, okay. That was uh, Crystal Mines. That was my third choice. Uh, yeah, I did not like Crystal Mines. i not a fan. Yeah, uh, yep. Two of ten, don't recommend. Well, I already know why you hated Crystal Mines. Well. I, I, and I, I can, I'll go ahead and spoil it. This is on your breakout side. It was the only level with the instant death spots. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you this. Uh well, no, I, I'm saving this for what breaks it because okay. there is a okay. Spock story. Okay. Uh, okay. I also going to throw in here. Hey, there's bats in this game too. There's like, bats. I'm going to go back and count how many games. It's not how many games have bats. It's how many games we play that don't have bats because there's bats in this. Uh, you know, Nintendo uh, staple there. So uh, uh, the the stages complement each other. So there were certain stages that I didn't like, but then the boss I thought was. I like, enjoyed playing the boss. And then there were certain stages I liked, and I hated playing the boss. So there's always that yin yeah, yang, they, that they, they do a balance. If the stage is hard, boss is fairly easy. If the stage is easy, boss is fairly complicated. And uh, so that is one thing. And then, to be honest, okay, so we're just going to, let's talk about the bosses here, and you tell me what they have in common. Because, I mean, this okay. is something I've, ne- I've just, to me, this is uh, Quill Gator, Bubble Crab. Flame Stag, Morph Moth, Magna Centipede, Crystal Snail, Overdrive Ostrich, and the Wire Sponge. Uh, essentially, if you take Quill Gator out of it, you're not. The bosses aren't intimidating animals. They're not animals that I feel like. I don't know. An ostrich is pretty intimidating. I don't know. That centipede would creep me out. But I mean, if you were a, a cyber, you know, Mega Man dude, I don't think none of these guys. You're not gonna say, whoa. That's a freaking, you know, gorilla mech. I don't want to mess with it. Screw this. I'm going home. Like, I mean, it's kind of okay, it's hey. kind of funny though. Like flame stag. Like, hey. I ain't gonna say a deer ain't gonna screw you up, or an ostrich ain't gonna beat the shit out of you. But it's not really intimidating animals, that, which is kind of fun at the same time. I'm just gonna say this since you're not Mega Manish mm-hmm. lore. There is a gorilla one. What is it? I can't tell you. I can't remember. But no, they. they I remember one. I was like, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. But uh, no, but they, they churn through these, and they're all different variations of different animals, which gives them, I guess, their stick, their cliche. Mm. But there was a gorilla one at one point in time. There was another one. I think. Uh, oh, which one? Mega Man. It's one, maybe? It's, I think the, it was a chameleon, and dude will fuck you up. Uh, let me just go ahead and drop this, to put this in your little pop, get it percolating in that. I got some fun facts about the designs of uh, all Mega Man. Oh, dude, characters. hit me with it. No, 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 I, I, we're, we're yeah, saying this to the end. Yeah, I, I'll say, I, I, uh, Mega Man, I said, Mega Man is ultimately my childhood. I said, I love those games. And so, uh... A couple things, you know, because I mean, there's a lot that was good with this game. So, uh, power through a few of these. Uh, the power ups, the re- the repal- replayability, yep, is there because you want to go back and get all the collectibles. So, it's actually more replayable. Like I told you with Mega Man Two, I played it nonstop. I loved Mega Man Two. That I ain't gonna say it's in my top ten or twenty, but uh, I mean, that was a strong game. I mean, I've got. 
I've got no negative thing about it. It's all just great nostalgia. Uh, so until now. I go back and play yeah, it. Yeah, until, until now. Uh, when you beat a stage in this, you damn well feel good about you yourself. You do. And that's the whole get good, man. <laughs> you feel freaking good. And You're it, on top of the world. Like I say, there'll be a stage that might be easy. And then you got that. The first damn stage I'm rolling through here, I'm like, this ain't shit. That damn gator got me, man. He's over here. I don't even know how to get out. My dude's just he's twisting chaw- back and forth. He down on yeah. you. And I'm like, fuck this, you know? <laughs> and, and, but then, you know, I'm playing a stage that was damn hard, and then I get in there, and, uh, and I do One good. shot the boss. I ain't going to say I one shot the boss, but, uh, oh, I, well, I, I, I did. <laughs> but I felt pretty good. I mean, so when you want a stage, when you beat a stage, you're like, hell yeah. Uh I was like, I'll one shot at Flame Stag. I do think that the the stages they're tough as hell, but they're not that long. That's one thing that surprised me. I feel like I remember the older Mega Man games that felt like the stages went on forever. I feel like these stages went by quick, and I think that was a good thing. I mean, there's a so, few of them solid, I wanted a little bit more from. Solid four to five minutes. And when I wanted something more from, it's not like I felt like I was missing something. I just was having fun playing it. Yeah. So that's why I wanted more. Yeah. But like. I'm glad they weren't like 12 and 15 minute left. Oh, 100%. Like I said, they've done it right by keeping these stages short, complex, and crisp. And uh, to me, a new thing that I've never had in a Mega Man, because I've only played basic. I'm a basic bitch of Mega Man. (laughs) Whenever uh, you got your power up, you just changed color. That was it. Well, I wasn't used to having vehicles. Yep. That was kind of cool. Uh the charge attack. Yep. Uh, or the dash. Uh, the dash and that charge. Uh, that dash and jump. Uh, I've sucked at dash and jump. That, oh, that's dude. why I hated that damn lava level so bad. <laughs> that's the pinnacle of Mega Man for me. Is dash and jump. You want me to tell you what my favorite part out of all of it was? What's that? Sliding down. You hit oh, that yeah, wall, you, you just, slide down. So nice. And I'm just like... It makes the sound. It's... <laughs> yeah, but it was just... To me, it was just like... Oh hell, there's spikes here. Oh my dumbass fell in them. It's not like oh Hurry, shit, I got yeah. So and and I I will. I'm not getting the spikes yet. I'm not getting into them yet. Uh, so two. I've got two more things. Dude, uh, I can go all day about the positives for this. Uh, it this isn't a positive for me. Uh, it still doesn't feel as hard as the earlier games, which I'm okay with. Like, I, I didn't beat it, don't get me wrong, but, like, I feel like I got way farther in this game, and I, I felt like every Mega Man games got harder as it went on, <laughs> with the exception of one was pretty tough, and I thought two was easier. But uh, I got farther in this game, and I thought I could physically get, you know. Uh, so that was a positive. Uh, and, and I've got... This is one thing, too, you know, and I've kind of touched on it. This is going to be in the make it and break it for me. As like some of the levels weren't my favorite, but the boss was good and vice versa. Yeah. That is in a positive, and that's in a negative for me there. Uh, uh, probably my last thing I've got, uh, and this is just me, this is the only thing I got on my heart, is I kind of feel like the password system was bullshit on there. Like, I'm okay with the password popping up and. uh <laughs> And I mean, I'm not writing down damn 12, 16 letters. Like I said, I can't read my own damn handwriting half the time. But uh, I did enjoy that I didn't die three times and it started me all the way back over at the start. I enjoyed that if I could beat a damn boss, that I could literally sit there and play that next boss I needed to play over and over and over. Yep. And okay, what'd you get? Three lives if you didn't pick any up. So your third, third life you get beat by, say you got beat by Will Gator. But you already beat Ostrich, or yep. vice versa. It kicked you out. I didn't have to go back and beat the first boss that I had. I enjoyed getting to go directly to the second boss again. Now you started over from the start yep. of the stage. But that was it's the amazing. best part. It's because amazing. the game is hard. And it's like, don't punish me for wanting to play you. Don't punish me for you having this challenging game and me sucking at it. Do you know that I feel like I couldn't play. But you know what they punish you for? What? Is if you turned it off. Okay, well, that's, that, where the that's where the came password in. came in. Okay, that's where the password came in. It, they they flat out looked at you and said, "Hey, asshole, you're beating this in one sitting, or you're gonna have to remember or type this password in." I I'm not gonna lie to you. I couldn't beat that damn ostrich, so I feel like that's the point where I'd be like, "Hey, man, you beat that ostrich, Josh. Give me that damn password so I can keep moving." You know, like like that ostrich. Well, okay, and, and here's the positive. And okay, 
I, I'm going to continue on with the make it. Okay. Part you, for, because it's all you. You got the floor. Because you said that beating the ostrich. All right. If I beat that ostrich at boss number four, and I gave you my password, it would have you beating the ostrich after boss four. Right. So you would have It does to, mess the order up. It messes the order up. Well, and this is one thing I will say that I, I did forget about, is in the other games, I feel like playing them was probably damn near impossible in the early games, unless you went in the correct order. I do think there was a correct order to this, but I think if you were good enough, you could probably beat every boss with just your normal X-Blaster. Yeah. That, and, and so that was one thing, like if you wanted an extra challenge, or your route... May have been different to me but, because I didn't know the patterns of this boss, or I couldn't get him, vice versa. But I say the first the first boss you're actually supposed to fight was Will Gator right. with your ants blaster, right. and he beat your ass. Apparently, I beat him first. I, now I'm not gonna lie, I did Google because I stuck, and I said, "Who do I need to play first? You know, because I knew it was gonna be a challenge. So uh, I did beat Will Gator. It was yeah. just I wasn't ready there at the first first get around. I didn't Whenever know, he jumps up and drag. yeah, yeah, I was like, "That's a son of a bitch right but, there." I mean, like I said, we, we played it a little bit here, and right. I think the first boss I beat was what I think it was, was it Moth. Mo- yeah, Mothman, uh, uh, Morph Moth. Yes, and he comes way later in the series, but I still beat him with a blaster. But it's all like you said; you can technically go to any boss you want as long as you can navigate the stage. You could win against the boss with just your blaster as long as you figure out their pattern. Okay, and. So that's still a positive for me. Another positive for me is the power-ups actually meant something good. Like, you could go through the entire stage and use that power-up, and they gave you the little tokens to power back up. They gave you the health for it. The only thing I didn't like about that whole aspect is, if I'm not mistaken, later on in Mega Man, they gave you a canister that allowed you to host the recharge for your power-ups okay how they gave you the canisters for the extra health okay now go ahead i do wish they would have had that in but i don't understand why they didn't because this was early development of that whole aspect and it came later that i did finally hit i'm like oh shit maybe if we add this in it would benefit too i do feel that in the first Mega Man games that i had played that pretty much when you beat a boss and you got their their uh, power up or whatever that in the other games it felt like the only time you ever used the power up was to beat the other boss yeah and in this game you, you actually use the power ups the whole time like there was some of the power ups you had to use to get to the secret areas yes stuff. so i did like that it was more than just a boss killer and uh it made it useful throughout the entire stage right and i love the fact that we already you already hit on this that you know that's Mega Man, regardless. Right. Exactly. And I love the fact that they have hidden armor pieces in there that it's called the Falcon armor. Which, when you look at the cover of some of these Mega Man X games, you look at this dude and you're like, that's not Mega Man. But then you see the progression. So, like, because you know, he's Mega Man, and then you find these armor pieces. You're, and you're, you're like, in, oh, okay. Yeah, you're in Falcon armor. So, when you're uncultured like me, and you look at it, it's like, ah, Mega Man looks weird. But as you're watching and gathering them pieces, you're like, oh, I kind of It, ma- it makes so. sense. The, the cover art is to let you know that there's something in there to make Mega Man more, besides just the power up. And I love it. And also, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but with your power-ups, if you use your standard power-ups without any of the armor pieces, Mega Man just changes a little bit of color. Right. But if you have that power-up with a Falcon armor, it's a complete different look as well. Okay, I didn't know that. Yes, and I love that. And that's one of the things that, I, again, it's, it's just how great this game was done. They've done so much with so little that it just worked perfectly together. My only, my last positive to this game. I don't think it's your last positive because I know you just can't see this, but Josh looks like a Swifty going to a Taylor Swift concert right oh, now. Oh, 100%. Like, he's, 100%. So. But no, my very last positive. I, I can go on all day about this, but my true last positive of this game is that I did love how challenging this game was. I can't get over that Mm -hmm. because of the simple fact is I don't know how far you made it. I beat the game. I I made it like four bosses in. And and I 
Well, I, I will say, and this goes into my break it just to put this, or in the make it just to, you know, highlight. Uh, I'm going to probably keep playing this game. I just, I, I didn't, I ran out of time. I played enough to be able to give a re- review on it, but I'm going to continue to play this game. Well, I'll so, go ahead, I mean, that kind of says something. Yeah. Hey, I'll, go ahead. And I'll, get go ahead it off tell, your I'll go ahead and tell you that this is one part that you're going to hate. Okay. You beat all the bosses. Mm-hmm. Then you go to the overworld stage. Then you got to fight all the bosses again. Right. That's that's basic Mega Man for you. With the added bosses of the Zero Hunters, I guess is what I'm going to call them. That's the three extra ones, right? Yes, yeah, the three extra. And then if you don't save Zero, you fight Zero as well. And okay. then you fight Sigma and Omega Sigma. Mm-hmm. All in one level, right, right? Yeah, there ain't. Yeah, I mean, you got to each Wheaties, you know. That's where that makes. <laughs> Dude, that's right. not Mega Wheaties. Them, them one ups. That's not Wheaties. That's, that's co- co- cocaine that's, and steroids. That's cocaine and steroids. <laughs> that's a hundred percent what that is. And I can't help it, but again, at that moment, I, I was playing this, and I paused the game, got up, shook myself out, I'm like, okay, here we go. My wife was like, "What are you doing?" I go, I looked over, I go, "Babe." Shit's about to go down. Like, and I stood, I didn't sit back down. I stood up and played this game standing up because I was that into it. Because I knew where I was. I knew what had to happen. And after I beat the game, just just setting the controller down and walk around like I was king of the world. So I know your kids have gave up on your bullshit. Did oh, they want to play this game? No, any? absolutely oh, no. Okay, okay. Again, they're tired of my bullshit. All right. But that's all for my making. Okay. That's all. So Well, let me just uh, use this actual sound effect to depress Josh and go into break it. All right. So uh, I'm going to put this as my first, and I'm going to come back to it as my last. The game's fucking tough. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I mean, it's one thing to say about a Mega Man game. that There's a lot of the stuff that's positive that could be, that. just like I said uh, earlier about... Uh, uh, some of the levels are bad, but the bosses are good and vice versa. That's great, and it sucks. It just depends. I mean, I, I, it's Coke and Pepsi. I'm sure the levels I enjoyed the most it was the different than what Josh, just like Josh would know that the uh, magma stage or whatever that fucking <laughs> stag stage is pissed me off to no end. And believe it or not, bubble crab stage pissed me off pretty de- I hated that fucking fish. I hated that fish. But, you know, at the, the end of the day, you know... Oh, uh, uh, did you not just outrun it? Yeah, that's pretty much what I did. That's and all then, you got to do. But, yeah, I suck at dashing and jump, so <laughs> I get to the end and I couldn't get up the damn wall, and then I died, and it was just... Oh, like, okay. I was about to say, did the fish give you a problem, or was it the actual level? No, the fish was just annoying as shit. The fish was annoying. That's why I just dashed and left it. <laughs> so, the, I, I'm going to leave... I'm just going to start with it's tough, and I'm going to explain why that is my biggest break in the game afterwards. But, uh, so... Uh, this is old fogey in me, you know. So, you know, the, the bosses seem weirder than what I remember. Now, mind you, they've turned out what this is. What does X2 stand for, as you told my wife, 12? I think it stands for 12. Okay. So, you know, they've churned out several bosses. So I know you got to get creative. <laughs> you don't want to go back to the same old song and dance. It's like Pokemon, man. I know, but see, it's just, I like having the classic bosses. I do too. Having Will Gator and Bubble Crab and... Morth Moth, that's full, cool. I kind of like having Fireman and Woodman or whatever, Cutter the, Man. The class, like, yeah, I like Cutter the, Man. yes, them are Cutter the ones Man I like. The- so even though I didn't have a big beef with these guys, I felt like these bosses didn't feel like real Mega Man bosses to me because I wanted you to be, it should have been Alligator Man with wheels or something. I don't know, Alligator Wheel Man. You know, I don't know. You wanted Cutter Man. You wanted the emo kid. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> The background music's just Blink-182. I don't understand. Uh, or My uh, Chemical Romance. Uh, yeah, it's My Chemical <laughs> Romance. That, that's exactly it. Oh. <laughs> you got me with that. I think one of... I can't even remember all the damn random firemen. It, you know, it, well, it, it, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that, that... But, again, they got creative with it. And I, I respect them for that. Now, another thing I got, so I know you can keep going on and on about what makes it, but there's just a couple things to me. And and 
Mind you, I get it. There's like a eight, six game, eight game gap from when I've played a Mega Man game. I just, I didn't think the story for a game that's so well loved to me, just picking up the game and playing it, not knowing anything in between, the story wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be. But at the same time, when I did look back, I don't know that many of the other Mega Man games had much of a story other than, hey, let's go beat Dr. Wily. Uh, Dr. Light says, oh, Dr. Wily's, you know, taking over. You know, so I don't know that the franchise, and, and I could be wrong, but just from my ignorance, is there doesn't seem to be much of a story out there. These are bad guys. Let's go do it. Now, at the end of the day, that's what you need in a, a lot of this. I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, you play the first Super Mario Brothers. I don't know there's really much of a story other than I'm going to go save this princess. Why is Bowser being bad? Like, so, not the biggest break it for me, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll def- I have to defend my I have to defend my boy. Okay. Well, I, and I don't know who Zero is. I think Zero is like an intricate part of this story, and I don't know who the shit he is. Well, and here's the thing: is I got to defend my boy. We didn't play X to begin with. This is a okay. continuation okay. of said story. Well, I'll save a crow over here to eat it when we get the X. <laughs> uh, so uh, now this is just classic Mega Man right here. Classic. Mega this Man. is classic Mega Man. This isn't just this game. If you say that. This is a break it. It's a break it for all the games. If you pick the wrong boss and you realize, hey, I fucked up, you already fucked up. There ain't no going back. There ain't no, hey, select, let Restart me go back. Restart the game. Yes. So you get to a spot that you don't want to be. There ain't no whistle to blow. There ain't no safe space. You either get in there and you do that shit or you find the quickest way to die, which is the only time that I will say is a good time for Spikes. Is there's a couple <laughs> where I'm like, I, this is not where I want to be when Jesus comes for me. I need to get the fuck out of this Are there spots or death hole? Yes. One or the two. Uh, so, uh, you know, that part going to another level, that, that sucked. Uh, now, this one... I'm putting an asterisk next to because you witnessed this firsthand, and and obviously I don't own this game, so I was playing this through some emulation to to start with, but uh, so I don't know if this was how it really was on the actual Super Nintendo, but in my emulation, uh, I mean there's a lot going on on the screen anytime. You get in these boss battles, and man, that damn, my SNES Mini was chugging, trying to keep up with it. And I don't know that that happened on the actual Super Nintendo. It wouldn't surprise me, because this game was freaking beautiful. It chugged. And it just chugged. Like, so... It it was certain bosses. North Moth, 100% chug. 100% chug. Even on the original. Uh, Your damn ostrich chugged? No. No. Ostrich didn't chug. I thought it chugged. I thought when we were playing it, it chugged. Well, it did on your mini. Okay. But on the original game, it did okay. not. Okay, okay. Now, uh, the only other one that chugged a little bit wasn't even a boss. It was the level. Mm-hmm. And it was volcano level. Well, as much was going on at any moment in this. It's surprising it, that it, the entire like, game didn't There chug. is no, I mean, I just feel like for what the Super Nintendo is, I mean... You know, Star Fox kind of stretched it, but Star Fox is, I mean, if you're just going to say, look at these games and tell me which is superior, you're not visually, Mega Man is 99% better than the visuals, even yeah. without the Super FX. So if you didn't tell me, I mean, if Star Fox was pushing the boundaries where you're putting the FX chip, and I know that this had their own chip in it as well, like, you can't tell me that that damn, if this was a, Xbox 360, you'd been red ringing to death. This oh, 100%. Uh, bitch, you know? Dude, like, this ain't you over pushed... heat, overheating smoke coming out. Modern Warfare 2 killed God, and FIFA killed God knows how many Xbox 360s. <laughs> yeah. I would not be shocked if Mega Man X2 just fried some Super Nintendos back in the day. But mine was on the emulator, and, and I will tell you, I ended up playing it on the PS4 after the chugging got so bad at certain bosses, and I didn't have that chugging issue. Of course, well, it's the PS4 version. I was playing on the PS5, so I'm putting that's that as why a I'm neut- it on. I'm putting it as a neutral because I don't know if that's how the original game was. The original game, I will say, the original game did chug on Morph Moth. I do know that for a fact, and it chugged slightly on Volcano. And uh, come on, give me some negatives you got here, Josh. Beat up on your gang. You got any? You got anything? You just I want do, me to take I, it home? No, no, no. I, I do got some negatives. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, my biggest negative. So you hate Mega Man's? What I'm hearing? No, no go ahead. Go absolutely ahead. not. My biggest negative 
And it's one level that really does it in for me. Okay. It's Crystal Caves. Crystal Caves. That's the one that I sucked at, right? The fucking bats respawn. Irritate me way more than it should. You know, I, I did have this smart down, and I, I forgot I left it upstairs. Enemies do respawn in this, but that is a negative and a positive, too. It's a negative and like, a positive. I remember in the originals, you could go out of the screen and go back kill enemies trying to get energy to prepare yeah. for boss fights. So, uh... You could do the same for this, too. Right, and so that's one thing is, like, I hated respawning enemies, but... There were several times I caught myself going out of frame and coming back just to shoot one of these things. Just hoping. Just, yes. just hoping. And, and I did feel like it was pretty generous with getting hit. It was. And, and uh, uh, so, yeah, uh, respawning enemies, I did mark down, but I'm like, I don't know. Like, I probably used it to my advantage more than okay. I, it was a disadvantage. My scenario was that little fucking room. You got to jump in on the sliding green glass. Okay. Jump up, catch the ladder, go up. There's fucking bats. Like, you move two inches back, two inches back, two inches. And I'm just like, listen, you fucking assholes. Because you had nothing to fight them with. Right. Like, you had to wait for them to get up unless you wanted to power through your saw blade. Right. But you only fired one saw blade. Right. And, so, and, and you couldn't just spam saw blade. You had that, to let that son of a bitch run all the way that, out. And, and I'm going to run that into my next break it. Okay. Is you had to either A, hit your enemy to be able to use another, or you had to wait for your time to run out of said power to use another one. Okay. So you use saw blade. And if you hit enemy, it's still there. For a solid, what was it, five, six seconds mm -hmm. before you could use another one? That's way too long to be able to use a second saw blade. Okay. Because that irritated me. That was, you know, especially during... Especially against bubble crab. Yeah, that that was what I was going to say. In a boss fight, I feel like I earned this son of a bitch. Let me spam it. Like, let me over spam it. Like, that's why I feel like instead of letting it run out and making it tough that way, it's like, let me throw everything I got. And then, and then think I'm a fucking idiot because I ran out of all the yeah, energy. Let, and then I'm over here just fighting for my life. Yeah. Like, I feel like, yes, go, you're You right. go in dependent mode after that. I was like, I don't want you to limit me. I don't want no regerts, not one single letter. <laughs> I just want to go balls out. I want to spam it and say I'm a fucking idiot. I want to be that part. And Fast and Furious when Vin Diesel looks over at Paul Walker and goes, too soon. Yeah, <laughs> and then, well, exactly. Family. <laughs> family. Family. All right. But, all yeah, right. no, that, that's 100% on the Brickett side. Is, like I said, if you use the bubble do, the bubble attack against Flame Stack, as long as you hit him, you could spam it again, spam it again, spam it again. But for some reason, your saw blade wasn't last forever. But... You know, I do feel like, you know, Capcom, when they make their Mega Man games, they're like, hey, these are the rules, motherfucker. Yeah. And, Deal with it. And, and they never waver from it. It's not no, like, so, and it's, it's like, straight up, turn the hat backwards, put the shades on, deal with it, assholes. Like, get lost, get good. Bitch. Yeah. Put a bitch, like three <laughs> seconds later, bitch. In the and thing. drag it out a little bit. Bitch. Be put an O in there. Yeah. Maybe, and maybe an A. Yeah. Be Yeah. All right. Here's my last thing that breaks it. So the first thing I have was the game's fucking tough, right? It's a tough game. Get good, scrub. This is my take on it. Get good or get wrecked. I don't think nobody says Mega Man's just okay. You fucking love Mega Man. <laughs> or you, you hate fucking it. fucking hate him. Because, yep. you know, I ain't got a lot of friends now. Sure as fuck didn't have a lot of friends when I was younger. So... The friend to me would be going to the damn game store when there was an actual magazine and you're carrying the paper in there and you're trying to... It John, sounds so uh, stupid because... Not that you can go to the internet and do this, but like it'd be so much easier if you just had like a fucking phone that you could take a picture of this. But to get past a certain boss... like so, Tips if, and tricks so, was the savior. Yes. Yeah, so if it, like, And it wasn't... Like in Mega Man, you could tell me how to beat this game. You can tell me how to beat each boss, but if I can't fucking beat him, I can't fucking beat him. Yeah. So if you can't complete a Mega Man stage, there's no other solution than to get good. Yeah. You either get a password from a friend or you get good. So I can understand that if you bought any Mega Man game, period, for your kid, for your wife, for your worst enemy, however you want to fight it, and they can't get past the first stage, you're fucked. 
Yeah. And this game sucks, then. Like, and, like, and I bet that a lot of people that probably hate Mega Man are probably like me and probably suck at Mega Man. And that's, they just can't enjoy it because they can't beat certain levels. But like. here's the thing. You like it now, asshole. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I do. I've, I've never you had You gave any... it a chance. And you're like, all right, this game I fucking hate, but why am I still addicted to this? The only thing that I've and always welcome... hated with the Mega Man game is I got, fuck, it got way harder the older I got. And welcome to my world of Dark Souls. <laughs> I've never played a Dark Souls. But here's also the thing is I agree. I agree with you on that. It's a hard game. It's a tough game. I bought my boys Mighty Number no. 9, which is a knockoff version of this. Right, right. And it's supposed to be back to the roots of Mega Man. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be based off Mega Man 1 through 5. All right. I beat that game as well. My boys couldn't get past the first stage with the trawl boss. And they're like, I'm never playing another game like this. And I went into them. I go, hey, Jaden, Jacob, I got this Mega Man game. And they looked at me and go, no, because I hated Mighty Number no. 9 because I couldn't beat it. I'm like, come on, give it a chance. And they're like, no, I'm going to stick to my Call of Duty and Fortnite. Well, I mean, it, it is definitely its own game. I mean, that is for sure. And uh, it's its own difficulty. I've got, I'll tell you this, I ain't got nothing uh, left for what breaks this game. And you know what? I'm proud of you because you didn't mention your death spots except as a positive. Well, let me go ahead and tell you. The death spots, uh, they were... only on like one or two stages. Well, probably my biggest problem, I think I was playing the crystal stage. I can't remember which stage I was crystal playing. Crystal is one of the ones that I have it. I was climbing a ladder and I looked over and it looked like a fucking ladder. It was the goddamn spots. I was like, hey, there's a heart container. I thought this was tough. <laughs> and I jumped true. up there and it fucking killed me. I'm like, crystal I was cave. like, that looked like a fucking ladder. Those didn't look like spots, you son of a bitch. <laughs> that was true. But you cave. know, if you're gonna if you're gonna fuck me over with some spots, at least you gave me a wall slot. So, like, there was an opportunity to that if I yourself. was either just as lucky or just as skilled, mostly luck, not skill, <laughs> that I could maybe fight my way out of it. And I was okay with that. I was okay with that. Now, I'm just going to say this. Uh, maybe I should wait until we get ready to rank this. But uh, So, I was playing it on the SNES Mini. Uh, I've got... Just so you know, way back when, uh, Josh was telling me what a great deal there was, and I think I bought, basically I got Mega Man like 1 through 9. Yep. On like some kind of legacy collection. It was the list. Yeah, I told and you I, about it. And I'm like, I'm starting at number 1, working my way up, motherfucker. Like, I'm good at Mega Man. <laughs> and I came back, and I'm like, you son of a bitch. And like, like you were, And then I even told you, I can't beat that. It, it's like you just like farted in a room and let me walk into it yeah. and then I'm like oh my god that's horrible and then you're just like you knew that yeah. it, my dumb ass couldn't fucking beat it yeah so and don't feel bad because I didn't either <laughs> so last night I'm you know I'm getting it and I'm kind of having some chug issues and stuff and I just like I just want to go downstairs and play it like I want to try I mean I feel like you know, the controller mapping and stuff is great on the Super Nintendo. I didn't even talk about that the yeah. controller mapping was amazing it, it was it really was completely bypassed that well, it, well, you know, that's how, I mean, there was a lot of good stuff. So, like, I mean, we can go back and probably, I mean, we're not even to the other stuff where we're an hour in. But we talked about uh -huh. some untouchables and shit for an hour. This deserves a little bit longer. So, well, about to say, if you want, we can revamp this. We can go into part two, and we, I'll keep going. We could probably talk about a part two. But, so I ended up coming down here, and I downloaded, like, the X series. Like, I don't know how many X's I got, but it's $20. And that's, and that's going to say, hey, this is how good the game not only is just Nintendo, but now it's shared everywhere. You can play it on any system. Yep. I mean, so, I mean, it's it's definitely been shared. Uh, and I, you can literally go on there. I think you could probably buy about every damn Mega Man game they ever had for like 60 bucks. I could be wrong. But it's like 70 at max. Yeah, well, I think they had it on there, but I would already owned some. So I basically bought the X Collection, 20 bucks. was playing it on the PS5. I still think the controller of the Super Nintendo felt great, but it was great. You know, uh, you know, some of the games may have been a little bit early for their time, and, and so there was you didn't have to worry it about it. It wasn't good with the analog stick. So I'm going to continue to play this. Yes, uh, the analog stick did work good. Uh, I did use the control pad several times, too. but uh, It was and, great to go in between. At man. the end it of the was. day, I threw $20 down to get all the games on there. I'm going to continue to play it, and... 
I'm going back after Mega Man 1. I feel like I got way farther in this game than I thought I was going to get. So I'm going back to Mega Man 1. So, I mean, that kind of says how good the game is. Like, I'm not done playing this one. And uh, and I'll probably play it a little bit longer. And then I'll probably cheese out and beat it. And then be like, motherfucker, I've got, I'm back. Yeah. And I go to Mega you Man don't... 1, I'll be like, I hate this fucking franchise. <laughs> like, that's the thing. But, but here's the I, thing. If, if you tell me that you're a Mega Man fan and you ain't ever said, fuck this game, you're not a true Mega Man fan. 100%. And then, and here's the here's the worst part about that is you're gonna say fuck this game, and then pick and, that controller back up. And then not only that, but I mean, you could get so pissed. You could be sitting there. You could be every boss. You could get at the very end, get like a sliver away from killing Doctor uh, Wily or Sigma, mm-hmm. and get destroyed and get pissed. Say fuck this game. Set it down. I guarantee you, your ass will be right back at it tomorrow. How many game, how many controllers do you think ever got broke? Because oh, two thousands, easy thousands. So I'm going to throw this in there, even though it's not a paid advertisement. You break your damn controller, you know where you can go to get another one? XYAV.com. Follow the link down in the description. <laughs> you need a joystick that you done ripped your thumb off, or you ripped the joystick, or you broke your controller. You can go there and get your shit cheap. We don't get paid by them, but if you use our affiliate link, we do get some free stuff, which helps us out greatly and keeps us playing. Shameless plug. Continue on, John. About to say that was I will go ahead and say this. This was a completely undocumented segue into an ad read. That is exactly. I am fucking proud. Well, that, that was that. good. And the place is just good. And you think you're going to go over and buy a controller, and it's going to be forty bucks. You're buying controllers for cheap, like those Nintendo sixty four controllers that were inspired the GameCube ones. They're like eight dollars each, so okay. they're cool. I didn't mean to go into a second segue. With you that. brought it in. <laughs> I brought it. Okay. But no, let's say, I mean, yeah, this game, I mean, hell, I could, again, no segue. My brother is a huge GTA fan. Okay. I watched him shatter three controllers over GTA, and I could only imagine the amount of being destroyed over a Mega Man game. I'm sitting here trying to think. I can't pinpoint I would like to tell you I ain't ever rage quit in my life. Oh, if I you have. told me I ain't ever rage quit over a Mega Man game, I tell you, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I have. I can't remember it, but I, I, I bet there's several people that probably their first rage quit was a Mega Man game. I, I agree with that. I'm pretty sure I was one of them. But I know my recent rage quit was a Rainbow Six Siege match where it was me and my buddies, <laughs> me and Daniel Larusso, right playing, and we were trying to get diamond range, and something happened, and we ended up losing it, and it kept going, and I got pissed off, chugged some rum, and went outside and shot my handgun. Well, I, I, ra- I rage fired. Well, that, that's a little more intense than I thought. It, it was, was extremely it. intense. It was bad. And then I realized that I don't need to be this person anymore. So I uninstalled the game and never play again. Well, there's that. So let's jump in here. We got speed runs, fun facts, rankings. Give me what you want. Okay, I want speed run first. Dude better have a badass name. I love Lay Hulk, but Lay Hulk isn't touching this. I'm already calling that. Okay, so... And and I'm calling it. If this person doesn't do it within 30 minutes, get better. Well, there's something to be said. So they had, they had one that was just completing Mega Man, completing it 100%, and completing it with low percentage. The low percentage was kind of vague... I don't, I, I don't understand what that means. I feel like you probably complete it with gaining as much, the least amount. Like this is the thing, and that, and this is probably one of the things that I hate with this game is there's not a trophy system. I feel like this game is made for fucking trophy system. Okay, fun fact, fun fact. Playing it on the PlayStation, there is a trophy system. I feel like Nintendo is needs to get on board with this trophy. This system. was way before the trophy. I know, but, but still, you need to you you got these on your switch you've got these on your nintendo systems like yeah you, revamp yes. revamp 100 percent. i agree 100 percent. so i feel like the low percentage is like you tell me you beat the game like yeah i feel like the game should show you your percentage say i completed it with 29 percent of all the power-ups that would be pretty impressive i want to see and like time wouldn't matter it'd be like who can complete it yeah. the lowest so when I went yeah, to low, can, can you completely bypass all right. the bosses and go fight the final Well, you, level? Guess, you basically beat the boss. You don't pick up no power. I don't know how it works. But it basically it said low percentage, and then it gave me a time, and I'm like, okay, that's not what I thought. So I didn't. I discounted that. I just say, went with completion and 100%. But I say low percentage, to me, was seeing they beat all the bosses, got all their power-ups, 
without getting a heart container, without getting right. the... That would be what I would think. Right? Yeah, without getting the extra And so if every... The only time... Or I, any of the Falcon. I feel like a lower percentage would supersede the time. I don't care if you took you an hour and you complete it with a lower percentage. The lower percentage is what you go with. That's my opinion. Yeah, 100%. And then if it's two people tied at that percentage, then it goes by who had the quickest time. But either way, it was very confusing. I didn't go... It's more confusing than everybody listening to this. So uh, <laughs> I went with the completion... And I went with the 100% because I feel like... 100% is fucking nice. Now, I'm going to tell you there's three people that I feel like needs to know, needs to be known because they were within just the any percentage. They were all within four seconds of each other. Oh. So you... I feel like just talk about one without the other was bullshit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Four seconds within each other, 100%. You got to throw them all out there. So uh, the first guy that came in, uh, he, he's the number one guy on any percentage. He set the speed run one month ago. Oh, so he he's fresh on this. Oh. So these other motherfuckers ain't even they either ain't noticed. They're probably dead, or they don't know. They don't know, or maybe they're out there hammering. How they it out. This game came out in '94. Well, true, I guess. Well, unless the fame of being a Mega Man speedrunner took over. Well, the second place guy when he took the reins was two years ago. So he's either working on it right now. He, he may not even know he's lost a speed rate. I feel That's like they should call you and be like, hey, some bitch. Dude, this community here. needs to be on a mailing order. They need to be on one massive group chat. Yeah, 100%. 100%. That you can't mute. Yeah. <laughs> or leave. Yeah. You're, oh, you're, you're in this group chat? Guess what, bitch? I just beat it. Yes, <laughs> yes. So uh, the number one guy who said it from one month ago, his name is Tokyo. Nah. Spoiler alert. He's from Japan. And uh, uh, he said it, any percent, he, he's the fastest speed run on there, 32 minutes, 25 seconds. Get better. Get better. So the guy who's had it for two years previous, or one year and 11 months before that, his name was Jayako, J-Y-A-O-K-O, Jayako, Jocko. 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 Uh, I didn't mark down where he's from. But he had 32 minutes, 26 seconds. He got beat by one fucking second. <laughs> now, you don't tell me that ain't 40 grit sandpaper across your ass. <laughs> That's 40%. But that. at the same time, you, in speed run, I bet Jocko, probably, get, if he knows, is giving a slow clap. Like, bravo. And I bet that one second has took Tokyo for fucking Oh, ever. 100%. So the guy who was who is third now, who may have, Possibly, the, I, arguably the best name, I think the second best name, uh, he completed it with 32 minutes, 29 seconds, which was three seconds off the original, four off the new record. His name is Nero, N-E-R-O underscore X2. Yeah. So, that's I, pretty I, cool. Tip, tip of the hat. Uh, you, you, had a, you, you are the third best for the speed run for Mega Man X2. You have X2 in your name. So you said, hey, any percent, and and Tokyo's got the fastest time of completing this game, 32 minutes, 25 seconds. You say, get better. What if I told you 100%ing the game? What would be the best for you? Would 32 minutes, I'm just saying, would that be acceptable to 100% the game? No, I don't think so. Whoa. I Cause hundred percent, you're gonna have to go back and play levels, right? Yeah, you have to go back and play levels. You got five. But, but zero so bosses. you're saying if a guy one hundred percent and he was in like the thirty two minute range, that don't mean shit to you. It does, but I'm 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 backing okay. up. I'm backing up. Okay, I want to say that a hundred percent with the levels because that messes up your levels. Because even though you fight uh, Gator Boy right off the bat. That doesn't necessarily mean that your balls for one of the zeros is going to be on the next level that you need to play. Okay. So I'll, I'll give him a benefit of the doubt. I would say a total of 40 minutes for him. But with you acting the way you did, he done it in 32 minutes. Well, I'm just saying, if 32 minutes ain't good enough just to beat the game, what is 100%? What's going to impress you? So I'm going to say 40 to 45. The... Uh... 
to 100%. There was two guys that had 100%ed on speed run, and they were pretty close to each other within two seconds, just to throw that out. Oh. So, I mean, you got some fucking ballers on You did. And I'm like, this makes me want to watch the speed oh, run. Oh, 100%. I will watch this as soon as I get and home. And the guy who won it, his name is Luis Mig- Miguel, Miguel, L-U-I-Z-M-I-G-U-E-L, Luis Miguel. And the other guy who I think has maybe arguably a better name than Nero X2, his name is Justin Dash Credible. So it is Justin Credible. Credible. So, uh, uh, so their 100% run, they both did it in 34 minutes. Uh, Louise did it with 57 seconds. Just incredible did it with 59 seconds. So I'm just saying, it, I, you're, you're a bad, to me, you're a bad motherfucker. That's you beat awesome. this in 32 minutes, but you literally give two and a half minutes to these dudes and they 100% of it. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I give it to them. That's amazing. I think that is shocking. I would think to 100%, it would have been like, like you said, 10, 15, 12 minutes more. Yeah, 40, Not 45. Two fucking minutes. Yeah. <sighs> That's amazing. I have I, I I will watch these speed runs just so you know. All right. Uh, you want fun facts? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let give me, me some. Yeah, give me some of these fun facts. Now, some of them are just uh, Mega Man X two, and then a couple is just Mega Man in general. Uh, there was a uh, fourth female X hunter in this game. Uh, it was they were going to be called the Four Guardians, but due to the limitations with the developers. They end up axing out the female uh, X Hunter. So there was only the three. Uh, so uh, do you have, and you may know this, this is, I don't know if this is common knowledge for Mega Man because I don't know shit about it. But uh, do you know what happens if you collect every collectible in the game? Not every collectible, no. If you get every collectible in the game, you get a special move. Uh, it's a one-hit kill as long as you got full energy. You cannot even access this unless you have full energy. It's like in one of the last stages, but you get the shuriken or whatever from Street Fighter or whatever Ken does, the uppercut. Oh, shuriken. Yeah, shuriken. He, sh- you can, he actually gets a shuriken, a fire uppercut that will one-hit kill anything, including bosses. But you have <laughs> that's to, the you, shit. You have to collect, and there's people on YouTube that's got this, and it, and it does look like. I mean, of course, you're just going to cheese through the game. That, that yeah, point. yeah. 100%. There is literally nothing. You've got to have 100% health, and it's a one-hit kill. But you got to get through like this massive ass stage to even get it. It won't even appear unless you make it through there with a hundred percent health. Yeah. But uh, you get you get that move if you get every single collectible in the game. That's cool as shit. Uh, do you? No, wait. Hang on. Hold up. Wait. Time out. Pause. Okay. Does that count as the hundred percent? It should for the speed run. I'm pretty sure it is. It has to. Yeah, right? Absolutely. If it's not, then not to. This beating you up, Louise, or just incredible, but that's fucked. You don't. That's don't 98%. Put, don't you put hundred percent next to my name unless I got. Yeah. Take my name out of your mouth. Yeah, that's ninety eight percent completion. All right. So do you know? And this is probably the most common one. I probably knew this. I don't know. I could answer it if you asked me, but I did know this. It goes by a different name originally in Japan. Do you know what Mega Man was in Japan? No, I, I mean I probably do, but I can't remember. Uh, it was changed. Because uh, they didn't think it would resonate in English. But in Japan, he is Rockman, not Mega Man. Rockman? Yes. See, for some reason, I was thinking Rocket. Well, And the Rockman is in reference to rock and roll music, which is why the female counterpart is rolling. Yeah, yeah. So that is... Now, I don't know if that's what they officially called it over there, but that was the initial name for him. I think that's what they did call Mega Man is Rockman over there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but say, didn't Roll become the dog later on in... I think it was the female. But once I never had the dog, never had the female. So I don't know that. Uh, so uh, speculation that Surge is actually the mind of Dr. Wiley that's transformed into a reploid body. So it's never been confirmed or denied when it's been brought to Enog or whatever his name is. But so they they say it's more than likely, and you actually referenced that that you thought Doctor Wiley was Surge, uh, Sigma or Sigma. So uh, that is uh, speculated, and this is probably the coolest one. 
So, you know, I mean, I don't know how oh, many. Oh, his name's Rush. The doll's name's Rush. Okay. Now, I don't know how many. Megan. Named after the band. <laughs> well, true. <laughs> uh, is that really why? Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. Rush is pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, for Mega Man 2, this is what I thought was cool. And this is just a Mega Man factoid. Uh, Mega Man 2 onwards. Capcom's held official contests for fans to submit their ideas and drawings for Robot Masters for the boss. Yeah. So almost all the bosses are based at some point due to these submissions. Yeah. Which you're like, well, there's probably a lot of people. So this is kind of a no shit. You're like, so they're not taking it word for word. But uh, no, it's literally fan made. They're uh, fan made bosses. Inafune would draw up, so even the ones he didn't use, I guess he would draw up based on the submissions and he would actually submit them to Nintendo Power just as artwork. But they said that throughout the years, so this is why I would say that almost all of them have an aspect. Over 700,000 fucking suggestions. Oh, 100%. Drawings have been sent. Well, hey. And I'm like, that's cool. Now, so I'm sure somebody's like, hey, put a fucking gator. On wheels, you know, hey, or a sponge with wire. Here, here's the here's my fun fact. Okay, about it is that the last Mega Man game, if I'm not mistaken, came out 2018. Okay, and it had, if I'm not mistaken, it had all new bosses on it. Yeah, it was Mega Man 11, is what it was. And it was still based off of fan submitted boss drawings. You know, one thing, and I'm just gonna throw this out there too, just to kind of put in perspective of this game, is like, you know, if I said, Hey, what do you think about Call of Duty, Josh? You'll probably say, Hey, that was cool like ten years ago. But you'll say they released too many. Nobody I don't think I've ever heard anybody say you've released too many Mega Man games. I mean, I don't know why you're probably talking twenty something games, but we're talking from the original fucking yeah. Nintendo. So like you're doing less than one a year. And and so at the end of the day, I mean, there is a lot of Mega Man games, and like like I say, I kind of checked out after four. But it's like, keep making these sons of bitches. I mean, number one, it's making you money. You're interacting with your fans. People enjoy them, and you know, again, you have one side of the spectrum or not. You either love it or you fucking hate I'm it. I'm just gonna say when you talk about video game franchises, when you're talking about the number, you're talking about Mario, you're talking your Z- Legend of Zelda. Is Mega Man better? I mean, I ain't gonna say that it is one or another, but it it's up there. You cannot say it ain't on a fucking Mount Rushmore. Not just maybe even of Nintendo games, but a fucking franchise. video game. Yes, yeah, a franchise. Has there That's, been has, how many ga- Sonic games are there? I wonder if there's what, a lot of Sonic games. Do you think there's more Sonic games than Mega Man games? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. I'll tell you what the most pure Mega Man game is that we're gonna play on Super Fucking Nintendo. What's that? Mega Man fucking soccer. You ever played it? No, I have not. Well, get ready, son of a wait. bitch. It is good. I can't it is wait. Good. If it sucks, I'm going to jump off a bridge because I remember <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just imagine you're playing soccer, but you got like Mega Man with the fire. Uh, yeah. So, with yeah. The fire power ups. You kick that shit, let somebody get in front of it. That's all I'm saying. Do you got Cutter Man in there? I don't know if Cutter Man's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see because his hair was over his eye. The damn. Uh, he was good, a too dark of a sprite. Yeah, like, my chemical Z- romance Shado. was playing. Yeah. He was on the sideline. He didn't want to yeah. play. I don't know. <laughs> but, anyways. All right. So, we're getting down here. We got to wrap this up. We're going to do some. Uh, uh, price charting, Josh. Price charting and ranking this. So, uh, what do you think? And I couldn't tell you this. If you ask me, I would just think that pretty much, and I could be wrong, I think pretty much any Mega Man game is expensive. Yep. I, mean, I don't know what Mega Man 1 is, but if you told me it was $100, I'd believe you. I would think, you know, it's a well loved franchise. Mass produced, mind you, but. Yep. Uh, Capcom. I'll go ahead and tell you one of the reasons but, why I don't own Mega Man is out of the years of collecting, I've never ran across a Mega Man at a good price. Yeah. So that's why I don't have a Mega Man X. So. Uh, and here's where I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and derail you a little bit. Is it's made by Capcom. The last Capcom game we played was Favel Goes West, and that motherfucker was ridiculous. Hey, that was yeah. Well, and it was it's our number one game going into this. Yeah. So I mean, kind of a parallel. I don't know if Favel's better than this or not, but. Uh, price charting eBay, I had a one dollar difference between. So you tell me, what's this game fucking? I w- I physically would throw down thirty dollars for this game right now, son. 
you're getting cussed by Mega Man fanatics everywhere. You For a loose cart. A loose cart. You're way low, bro. Oh, shit. Way low, bro. I, now, I'll just go ahead and tell you this. I know one of the Mega Man X games are super expensive. I think it's probably Mega Man X. I think X2 is probably cheaper, but they're both expensive to yeah. me. Uh, so I would throw a solid 30, but, I mean, if you're saying I'm way low, I'm doubling. I'm going 60. You're way low. Still? Yeah. It doesn't surprise me, but, oh, God. Okay. Uh, let's go with a hundo and 50. I gotta get you as close enough right there. Price charting had it one thirty three. I had it at one thirty two on eBay. Shit. So uh, it's a hundred thirty dollar game. Call it, just call it that one thirty three. Hey, hey. I'll just say we have played worse games that were worth more. Yeah. That. So I mean, at least this it, game is I, good. I don't know that I'd spend one hundred thirty dollars on it, but I couldn't argue that you're not getting a quality game. Hey, I'd do it. So if I, if I had the goblin of collection of the whole SN, the SNES games, 130 for this game, yeah, dude, I'm throwing it at it. What is a complete copy? Now I'm going price <laughs> charting because I couldn't find the shit on eBay. <laughs> price charting was a complete copy. Dude, price. Okay, my original rule was to triple it, so that would be what 390. Mm. I'm going higher. I'm going seven. You're high. I'll give you one more guess. Okay, I'm high. All right, let's drop it down to five. Close enough. Complete copy, four hundred seventy-five dollars. Yeah. A new copy. What do you think? Oh, this? dude, if this bastard's, if this game is not over, it's four digits. I'll just tell you. That. I was about to say, if this thing is not over four digits, I'm calling Capcom and calling them a piece of shit. Right. Okay, four digits. Okay. Let's go with 1,200. It's good. You're a little low. Little well, low? Well, I'd say a little low. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're about decently say, low. Hang on. About to say, my first guess was 15. And I checked it down to 12. Maybe you should just go with your gut. 15? 15, 21. Yeah. I was thinking it was a fucking graded copy. It was, it was like five grand or some shit. You know, so, but at the same time, so, Josh, we're just going to call it a $130 bill. You got this cartridge sitting here for $130, knowing it's worth $130. Or, or just the fun factor of it. Yeah. I'm like, I've got this cart and I've got $65 cash. You can have one of these for free. Would you rather take $65 cash or the game? Keeping the game. I would keep the game, but I'm cheap. I think I would pay up for this game, but I would probably, the highest I think I would pay You wouldn't would be, break 100 would you? No, I think I could pay 59 If I found it at a junk store or at a video game store, somebody said, hey, I know what this game is, but I just want to make a little bit of money on it, and I'll sell it to you for 60 bucks. I'd be on it for 60 bucks. Anything over that? Kind of hurt me because I'm not. I wouldn't buy this game to resell. I don't have this game. No, it'd be a I would want to keep this, and uh, I'm sure there's been a fair share. I think this game's probably been expensive since this came out. I bet. I bet this is sitting in a bin somewhere at a yard sale. Oh something. yeah, hundred percent it is. And that's how I want to find most of my collection. Not because I'm cheap as shit, but it's nothing it's more hunt. fun. It's the hunt. It's like my Virtual Boy. When I found it, when a guy bought yeah. sold me a Nintendo and some extras, and there's a freaking Virtual Boy with a game in there. Yeah. I'm like. <gasps> Fuck the Nintendo. Yeah, like, this, this is, is weird fast. You know, it might not even work. I ain't got power cords, but like this is the coolest shit ever. It's the hunt. It's the hunt. It's the hunt. I, 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 had, I had that same feeling because I do that with comic books. Right. So I understand the hunt. But at the same time, there's a time and there's a time and place where you just yeah I, I jumped the last one. Oh well, we went long, so we drank we all did, the beers. Yeah, we I, drank all the beers, and this was a game. I'm hot, so I started chugging. And, you keep going. I'm getting another uh, beer. Uh, and like I was saying, is this game here? I said I don't mind paying the price for it. I would give this game a hundred dollars easy if I had that goblin to where I had to collect SNES video games. I don't even know if it's just collecting SNES video games like this game. You know what? This is the the great part of it. You can buy this game and have it on the shelf, and I bet it's worth. A hundred dollars to just let it to have it. One hundred thirty-three dollars. But 
you can buy the whole collection for literally twenty dollars on modern video game systems, which sadly enough, it's not the probably copy. plays it better. But you it can does. you can scratch your itch and you can play all these games. So people who want to complain about video games being overpriced and gouged and all that. You can go buy it and play it cheap. You can download it on emulation. Yep. Uh, and it's just as fun. but It's just as difficult. But at the same time, I bet everybody, if you bought this game for... I bet there's not a whole lot of people who own this game that said, I wish I didn't pay that much money for it. If you paid $133, I think you're probably like, you know what? It's I'm glad. It. There, yeah, is, there are better games that are worse games that are twice the price of this on the Super Nintendo. 100%. So... We're going to jump into the ranking, Josh. <laughs> so, now, this is going to be interesting because, you know, in this season, we this will be our fifth game. We are both in, for some reason, unusual. It is unusual that we have our top four ranking. It's as, time. Uh, American Tail, Fifle Goes West, Dirt Track FX, Vortex, Super Strike Eagle. Uh, what is it? Boom, boom. Caca, boom, boom. Yeah, caca, boom. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, with Mega Man X2 coming in here, are we going to be on the same page? I have a feeling you're going to call it number one. It's number one! It's number one. 100% number one! Well, I've got news for you, man. There is a Capcom game that's going to be number one. There's also a, another one. Fifle is a... It's Mega Man X. Yeah, of course it so is. There is Unless, if you told me that Fifle was better than this game, I would quit this podcast and never do it again. The only way you can argue this list, I feel like, that we've got in this top five, Mega Man X2 by mile, is Vortex and Dirt Track FX, which you would rank those. And I think we're probably right on that. I also, I forgot one thing before we leave on this, Josh, that is going to blow your mind and fucking make you rage. Uh... My real question is when we get Mega Man X2 and we dump that into the other 20 games where it ranks. So, this handy dandy IGN list that I have. I don't care about IGN. Of the top 100 games. We've already played one of them. Fatal Fury 2 at 63, which is bullshit. That's not number 63. We played two because Star Fox. Oh yeah, Star Fox. Star Fox was number 9 on this list. Mega Man X2 is on this list. Yeah. Where would you imagine it would be in the top 100? See, of- see, okay, here's the thing. In my top 100, this is a top 10 tier. And I'm going to say that this bastard is at least an 8. Well, let I me, think this is better than Star Fox. Let me ask you this. And I don't know the answer to this, so I ain't just devil after you. Which is better, Mega Man X or X2? Or is that like asking which one of your kids you love more? I don't know. I don't know the answer to this. Oh, God. Uh, oh, shit. I mean, I'll know when we get to Mega Man X. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, me? Personally. Okay. Think X2 is better. Fair enough. I think. So, and, and what you told me was you think Mega Man X2 is a top 10 game, basically. Yes. I would rank, by memory, just Mega Man X is a solid top 15. Well, let me go ahead and tell you, one of them is ranked above the other, and I'm not going to tell you this. Mega Man X on IGN is ranked number 12. Uh, okay, I, I, I can see that. I can see that. Do you want me to tell you where Mega Man X2 is ranked? You tell me if you agree or not. Yeah. Mega Man X2 is ranked at 31 on this Fuck list. Fuck no! 31. Fuck no! You want me to mention some games that they put ahead of it? Yes! The, number 30, The Lost Vikings. I haven't played it. Don't 29, Wario's Woods. Okay, I'm not a Wario fan. So. 28, Donkey Kong Country. So, I mean, there's some... Solid, solid. 27, Tetris Dr. Mario. Underrated fucking game. You bought me this game. I bought you that game. You bought me this game. Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, hang on. Time out. Tetris and Dr. Mario. Do you really rank them as the same game, or do you rank them as independents? I'll rank them as independents. Well, it's the same game, and we're going to have this problem when we draw it, because... 
there's a Super Mario All Stars and Super Mario Stars with Super Mario World. Then there's Super Mario World. Super Mario World and all that is separate itself. The Lost Levels. But that one yeah. cart's going to have it. So when we play it, we're going to play that one cart. This, technically, they are two separate games, but they were introduced on one cart. Which, to me, when we draw this, even though it's going to be one review, you're reviewing two games, basically. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a gray area. It's a gray area. And th- because of that... Because I never... I mean, even though they're puzzle games... Dr. Mario and Tetris do not. They are... That's They're not like, the same. No, they are absolutely They're not. They're vastly different. So, let me just tell you some of the games that I can understand. Somebody on this list, the 30 games ahead of it, why you would say... You know, I mean, because some people might say, fuck Mega Man, I like Donkey Kong. I get that. So, you know, you got Mortal Kombat. Okay, maybe you're Solid, fine. solid. Uh, Contra. Solid. Castlevania. Solid. Mario All-Stars. Solid. I uh, don't agree with it being F-Zero, Super Punch-Out, Donkey Kong Country, some Final Fantasies, Earthbound, Secret of Manas, Mario World. So, I mean, there's some bangers ahead of it. I there could, is. You can argue that. You know, you're saying, hey, who's more awesome than the most awesome person you've ever met? Like, it's... Yeah. Uh, but some of the games that I feel like is tough is The Lost Vikings. Again, never played it, so I don't know. Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi, I don't think is nearly as good as this game. The the magical quest starring Mickey Mouse. I've never played it, but that sounds a little skeptical. Mario Paint. Mario Paint is not number twenty two. I just no, have to tell you. I remember playing Mario Paint and I hated it. Act Razor. Uh, never heard of Tetris it. Tetris Attack is on there. Uh, uh, uh maybe. And then you're getting here, you're splitting hairs. Of course you got a lot of Final Fantasies, uh Chrono Triggers. So there is a lot of games. So I mean number thirty, you're in still in the top percentile. But I feel like, I'm just going to say this. I think they've done it dirty. I think it's done dirty on I there. think it's done dirty. I mean, I just, the first one above it is Lost Vikings, and that just blows my fucking mind. Like, I've enjoyed the Lost Vikings, but I don't know. It's a I game. never played it, so I don't know. I don't know how you put Mega Man X and X2 23 or whatever spots away, unless you're like, we already got a Mega Man game in here. Let's hedge our bets. Yeah. So we're going to find out. By the time we get to the end of this motherfucking list, of Super Nintendo games, where it's really going to be. And that's going to be the bottom line of it right there. For at least us. But mind you, that top 100 list, yo, you're the top percentage. Like, to be in the top 100 is a big deal. I cannot imagine this game being less... I mean, and and Mario Paint is nowhere near my 100, just off of memory. I can't write. I sure as hell can't color, you know? So... (laughs) I can color by numbers. I can play that little fly swat game on there. But I'm just going to say that I'm not a Mega Man dude, I don't think. I haven't been for so long. Maybe I am, and I'm just, this might drag me back into this it, which the, will only boost the, the, the list of it. But, like, to me, not being a Mega Man game, it's going to be tough for me to think that this game is not a top 50 game. Yeah. I mean, we're high on Star Fox. You say it's better than Star Fox. I don't know. But I we're think- having a conversation. When we do, when this, this will be the most interesting thing when we go into the next season. When we dump these 10 games into the full ranking, that's going to be, I'm, I'm going to have to think about it. I have to think about it a lot. Yeah, you'll have to go check. So we got Mega Man X2 as the as the number one game. Maybe the best game that we played, arguably. I feel safe to say. I like how of, you put that in quotations with your hands. Maybe. I think undoubtedly with the games that we played, it's a definitely a top three, maybe a top Easy. two game. So, uh, I don't know. I'm excited. Uh, I, do you have any predictions going into this straw, what we're going to get, Josh? No. I, we were all wrong last week, but it was we pleasant. Were, we, I mean, I was wanting to say a top-tier game. That was my original guess. And I backed out and went with whatever my last guess was. I don't remember. There's been a lot of beer and a lot of sleep and a lot of work stress since then. That's it. I'm going to go Sports. I'm 100% on sports with you. I'm doubling down with you. What Are you going to just sports in general? I'm going to select. I said Mega Man Soccer. I want Mega Man Soccer. We're getting a fucking soccer game. You want a soccer It is game? soccer. It is soccer. And I don't think I've... I, can't. I want NBA Jam. Oh. Ooh. I want a NBA Jam, but I know that's not going to happen. Just keep in mind, NBA Jam is just like Mega Man. It's harder than you remember. Just oh, 100%. But unless you know the Konami code, then it's uh-huh. easier. And I do remember that code. I don't know how to translate the NBA Jam, but maybe I'm missing something here. All right, all right. I guess we'll just see. We're getting out of here. Hour and a half. 
Longest podcast, but the game is worth it. Even the though my Swifty over here has been cheesing the whole time, he's killed like a six pack of beers. <laughs> I have. Uh, I'll buy more next week. Don't worry. Uh, we're all good. I, I will happily provide them as long as we keep drawing fire games like this. A hundred percent. This does this game just to leave it on this? Does this make it worth playing the Untouchables? And some of these, yes, games. it does for me. Yes, one hundred percent, it does. Absolutely, and to me, this is a, a new experience. I've never played the game, so and you you hated it, but you enjoyed and it. And that's why we do this podcast is just because it's fucking fun, exactly. And uh, I actually got to play a game that I've never played that is a classic, and I did enjoy it thoroughly. Uh, had a few problems with it, but uh, no, nothing's perfect. Uh, I, I'm going to be playing it later than not. There ain't no doubt on that. And I'm going to fire up Mega Man 1 before the next episode, and then I'm going to tell you how bad Mega Man fucking sucks next week. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't got nothing left. Nothing's on my heart. We've got it all out there. You're welcome, No, I'm good. Ah, I'm next good. game coming up.